Lesson 1.1, Parent Functions and Transformations. Our essential question today is, how do you identify function families and describe transformations of parent functions? Today's parent function is the quadratic function, and that looks like f of x equals x squared. The x is always squared, and there is nothing else around it. This is the parent function that all quadratics will be built from. So if I needed to use a table to form a quadratic function, we're going to pick a couple of negative values and zero and a couple of positive values. This will tell us where in between this area right here our quadratic will go. Now a quadratic function is the shape of a U. So we're hoping when we graph it that these coordinate points will help us form the U. So this is your X, Y table because it's an F of X function. This is the F of X table. So our rule was F of X equals X squared. So if I have negative 3 and I square it, I get 9. Negative 2 and I square it, I get 4. Negative 1 and I square it, I get 1. And we're going to continue down the list and we're going to keep squaring all of our numbers. Now that I have my xy table, we're going to come over here and we're going to graph it. The quadrant point negative 3, 9. So I just finished graphing all of the coordinate points in the xy table. Now I need to connect it. It's a U, which means you need to connect it with smooth, curved lines. We're not doing any of these pointed rocket ships. It is not a V. So that's as curved U as I possibly can get. It's a U. Now we need to look at this real fast. There is a particular movement that you need to be aware of when looking at this. When I went from this point to this point, I saw that I went over one, up one. So I went over one, up one. From here to the next point, I went over 1, up 3. So I still went over 1, but I went up 3. From this point to the next one, I saw that I went over 1, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Went over 1, up 5. I notice my movements are always going to be over 1, and my ups are 1, 3, 5. My ups are all odds. So my ups are 1, 3, Five. The next up would have been 7. So our ups are always going to be our odds. So over 1, up 1, over 1, up 3, over 1, up 5, and then the next one would have been over 1, up 7. So these are my movements. Now you'll notice, if you remember, the orange line that we used to do for the range, it's still the same thing. We go straight through the vertex, and you're trying to tell me where it lives. I notice my U lives all above my line. So when I come down here to do my range, like we used to do with the absolute value, it's still all of my y's. I saw the y went through the zero, and I noticed that my u lives above, so it's going to be above. The domain, I saw that it went forever in the right direction and forever in the left direction, which meant my domain was going to be all real numbers. And I notice my vertex, the turning point is right here at the coordinate point zero, zero. This is my vertex. So this is very similar to the absolute value that we've already done. The difference is the movement, so you just need to be really careful. 